Thanks for having me in, Deanne. Oh, it's so good to be here and to see you, Ken, though we haven't done this in a while, have we? <laughs> we haven't done this set up in a long time. <laughs> Everything old is new again. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. And so in this period, Dan and I have been talking in this period where the light seems to be leaving the sky. We are also entering this period of darkness in this pandemic and COVID. And it is more important than ever, as we've discussed, that we hold our consciousness high. And the process of coming together, the practice of coming together in prayer, in meditation, in service, to lift our consciousness is a great way for us and the world to transcend this pandemic. And you know, this is the season of light and um, we get to be the light right now in the midst of the seeming darkness. This is what we get to show up as. This is what we get to anchor. This is what we get to know is true. While we are standing in this space, um, knowing that really do, knowing that the, the light is, this is over folks, right? This is over in terms of we have vaccines, like there is this mechanism that is just happening in time and in space. And so until time and space catches up with what is happening in consciousness, we get to be the light, we get to illuminate. Over 130 years ago, Unity was founded as a healing movement for diseases that were thought uncurable, mm -hmm. right? And right now we sit in the midst of miracles happening every day, yes. every day. And we hold the consciousness that even more is possible with our minds, with God as one. So let us remember this this season. We are now following the protocols of San Francisco and we're not allowing guests to come into the sanctuary anymore. But we commit to being here every Sunday live and we commit to creating interactive services so that when you show up live and participate with this, it ha we can create connections through time and space. We know that with God and with our consciousness, all things are possible. These connections are our lifeline right now. And so we are committed to making sure that this lifeline is available and present. And we've got something really fun lined up for Burning Bowl that's interactive. Um, so just know that, <laughs> big surprise, Ken and I are working to be creative in the midst of all of this. <laughs> well, I'm going to take my leave now and watch service from home.